Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number eight. And we're going up against an alliance called Shadows of Death. Uh, we're still in tier three. All right, let's take a look at who they've banned. All right, so we've got Hercules, Hulkling, and uh, Angela. So Corvus, of course, can come in. Let's take a look at what we got going on. And I do have the... Oh boy, they did they line it with all clarity? They sure did. Okay. All right. That's um juicy. So I could bring um Corvus Proxima and he'll be able to do these fights. Uh that Future Ant-Man, I kind of like doing with um, Magneto. All right, so let me look and see who he has assigned. All right, let's see. Let's get to the right. All right. Okay. Oh, interesting. All right, so yeah. He's got the same people I was thinking of bringing in, Corvus, Proxima, and Magneto. Perfect. So, yeah. We're all we're on the same page here. Yep. That is perfect. So, he has me going against the Mysterio with Corvus. Yep. Then he has me fighting this Iron Man Infinity War with Corvus. Then for Ant-Man, yep, Magneto. And Omega Sentinel is Corvus. Now, who does he have me going against for Mini? Uh, let's see. Baron Zemo. Where are you, Baron Zemo? There, so he's got me going against this guy here. Incinerate poison with uh, Corvus. So yeah, that works out for me. Seems like a good plan. Uh, these are fights that look pretty straightforward. I've done the uh, Future Ant-Man, the Omega Sentinel, the infamous... Uh, Infinity, uh, Iron Man, Infinity War. And I fought Mysterio as well. But as long as we get the true strike, we're straight. Okay, let's get on with the fighting. So I'm going in with Magneto, Corvus, and Proxima. That is probably my MVP team for this meta. Let me tell you, if they don't ban Corvus, he's going to rip through my path because they're going to put a lot of techs on my path to get armor ups so that they can benefit from the uh, node. But Corvus against most techs is going to just tear them up, okay? Um, this Mysterio, not going to be anything for Corvus. And if I'm able to get that true strike, as I mentioned earlier, we're good. All right. So here I'm trying to, there we go. We got the auto block. So now I just have to knock him down. Okay. Here we go. Bam. Now I have true strike. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I don't need the clarity tag. 
I can just go in and just take him, as you saw. Corvus, for this meta, is a beast. That's why, at the higher levels, he is globally banned. But I'm actually kind of happy that we're not at the higher levels for at least a few fights, because I mean, a few uh, wars, because I can bring Corvus. And, I mean, if they ban him, I got other options. All right, so now we've got uh, Iron Man Infinity War, who, on this node, can be a problem. But Magneto can actually do this fight as well. But with Corvus and the True Strike, as you can see, look at that. Auto block failed. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful sight? Look at this. Just tearing them up. Just going in. Backing off a little bit. Because I don't believe, uh, even at the end, it's going to matter. Because I'm going to um, be unblockable in a minute. Didn't even get a chance to go to the special two. I'm sitting here like trying to um, hit like once and and back off so that I can fire the special two, which was going to be unblockable. Didn't matter. Didn't matter at all. All right. On to section two. All right. Uh, you may notice also in this war, I went in early. I normally will wait a little bit so that folks can, you know... Um, get a little bit further along so that I can do uh, one boost and clear both section one and two. And then I'll boost again for, you know, whatever minis they have me uh, doing. But this time I was like, I want to get it done um, earlier than uh, I normally do. So I just went ahead and went in. Now, this fight has a few counters. Corvus can do this fight, but in my opinion, it's a much more difficult fight. I like things nice and easy if I can do it. Magneto is nice and easy. Um, Gladiator can do this and nice and easy. Um, trying to think who else would be a, a good one for this. Uh, I believe um, Cosmic uh, Ghost Rider also. I'm trying to remember if I've used Cosmic Ghost Rider against future Ant-Man on this node. But he's bleed immune. And I think he, he does uh, pretty well against him. But my options for this one would be um, Gladiator or Magneto. And I could have brought Gladiator in here, but I didn't have anyone else that I was going to be fighting that Gladiator would have been a great option for. Because that's what I could have done. And instead of Magneto, I could have brought Gladiator. We would have done this fight. And I would have had Gladiator for another fight. But I didn't see any fight that Gladiator was especially good for. There were fights that he probably could do but not better than who they already had assigned for that fight. So I was like, okay. Uh, this one, Corvus again. Even with the armor ups for um, Omega Sentinel, doesn't matter, he armor breaks them. If she does have an armor up and I, and I get a shock on me, doesn't matter. Look at this, auto block failed. Don't need the uh, clarity tag. Look at it, look at it. And, and keep in mind, guys, that it's not just Corvus. Corvus needs Proxima to get the True Strike. Anybody that has True Strike will work, even if they don't have the Clarity Tag, okay? All that I'm doing is getting True Strike for Corvus, but as long as you have a True Strike or an Auto Block or an Evade Counter, you're good. You can do it. You see that um, Magneto, Magneto could have done that fight too. His magnetism makes it so that they can't auto block or, or evade. Okay. So you have a lot more options, which is why I like this uh, meta better than a couple of the previous metas that we've had, because you have more options. They ban some. That's fine. You've got 
plenty of other options. Now, this last fight uh, for the war here is against Baron Zemo. If you guys remember, I do not like Baron Zemo. He has Root in his kit, and Root triggers, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, triggers me. So I do not like fighting Baron Zemo. However, if you go fast enough, you don't have to worry about the Root. And I have learned to just block his special uh, two, and I usually don't have to deal with it there. All right, you see how I'm blocking a lot? And then now I go in, just start slicing and dicing him up. Yep, I don't know how that got through, but whatever. All right, here we go. Huh, huh, wham. And it's over with. No root to be seen. Beautiful, right? I liked it. All right, so that's the last fight that I had to do in this particular war. And we'll be back in a little bit, and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. Very, very nice, very, very nice. Let's uh, take a look here. Uh, we won by three attack bonus, it looks like, here. Uh, let me see. Everything else looks, uh, yeah. So that means it looks like every single death counted. Shout out to our MVPs. But correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like every single death counted on both sides. So that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What did you think about this war? Uh, what do you think about Corvus? Take care, and you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he's swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.